Here in Alberta, many of us take our water quality for granted, since we all drink water that has been chemically and mechanically treated. There are very few places in Alberta where it is now safe to drink water from streams and lakes without treatment. Surface water quality varies across Alberta and is affected by vegetation, topography and climate, but also by human activities. Manure, fertilizers, sewage, pesticides, pharmaceuticals and sediment all affect water quality. Water quality is important because it can affect the health of all living organisms, including humans. One aspect of water quality that has a significant influence on aquatic ecosystems is the levels of nitrogen and phosphorus. Nitrogen is important to living things because it is needed to make proteins and synthesize DNA. Although 78% of the atmosphere is made up of nitrogen gas, most organisms cannot use nitrogen in this form. The nitrogen cycle converts atmospheric nitrogen into nitrates. Nitrogen can be converted to nitrates by lightning, which causes oxygen to react with nitrogen gas. Nitrates dissolve in rainwater and are absorbed into the soil. Nitrogen-fixing bacteria found in soil or in root nodules of legumes can also convert nitrogen gas into nitrates. Excess nitrates from these bacteria move into the soil. Nitrates are taken up by plants to make DNA and amino acids. Animals eat the plants. Excretion, death, and decomposition returns nitrogen to the soil. Bacteria in the soil convert nitrogen-containing compounds back into nitrates. Denitrifying bacteria take nitrates and convert it back into nitrogen gas, returning it back to the atmosphere. Farmers add nitrogen to the soil through fertilizer use. Runoff from fields carries excess fertilizer into water bodies. Phosphorus is important to living organisms because it makes up DNA, ATP, and cell membranes, and is a major component of bones and teeth. The phosphorus cycle acts to maintain a relatively stable amount of phosphorus in the soil and water. Phosphate, a combination of phosphorus and oxygen atoms, is stored in soil and water. Phosphorus, unlike other biogeochemical cycles, does not cycle through the atmosphere. Plants absorb phosphate from soil and water. Animals acquire phosphate when they eat plants. Animals excrete phosphate, and the phosphate returns to soil and water. The cycling of phosphate between plants and animals is the short-term cycle. The long-term part of the cycle involves phosphate in water bodies forming phosphate rock over millions of years. Geologic uplift brings the rocks to the surface. Phosphate erodes from rocks and enters oceans where it can be absorbed by algae and other plants. Marine animals use the phosphate for bones and shells. When they die, these become rock. Humans mine phosphate rock to make fertilizer. Phosphate fertilizer improves the growth of plants and is commonly applied to crops, golf courses and lawns. Farm animals eat crops and excrete phosphate in manure. Phosphate runoff from fertilizer, manure, and municipal sewage can disrupt the phosphorus cycle by increasing the concentration of phosphate in water. Increased phosphate and nitrate allows algae and other weeds to grow quickly. When the algae die, they decompose. The decomposition process lowers the amount of oxygen in the water. This process called eutrophication, can kill fish and other aquatic life. Excess nitrate in drinking water is also dangerous to animals, as the nitrates can attach to hemoglobin, reducing the oxygen-carrying capacity of this molecule in the blood. The amount of nitrogen and phosphorus in Alberta's water has increased, as human activities have increased. During the past century, many of Alberta's lakes and ponds have experienced significant eutrophication, reduced water quality, and loss of native fish and aquatic organisms. If the runoff of these nutrients continues to increase, Alberta's lakes, rivers, and streams will continue to become less suitable for aquatic life. How can Alberta continue to grow and prosper without causing more negative effects on water quality? 
use Alberta tomorrow to see how the runoff of phosphorus may have been impacted by land use in the past and what the effects of a change in land use could be to water quality in the future.